Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Vision Innovative. So today we will discuss about a topic how big is the universe. So let's discuss about it. If you are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon for latest video notification. Throughout the history, humans have used a variety of techniques and methods to help them answer the questions how far and how big. Generations of explorers have looked deeper and deeper into the vast expanse of the universe, and the journey continues today. As new methods are used and new discoveries are made, in the 3rd century BC, Astrachatus of Samos asked the question, How far away is the moon? He was able to measure the distance by looking at the shadow of the earth on the moon during a lunar eclipse. It was Edmund Halley, famous for predicting the return of the comet that bears his name, who three centuries ago found a way to measure the distance to the sun and the planet Venus. He knew that the planet Venus would very rarely every 121 years. Pass directly between the Earth and the Sun, the apparent position of the planet relative to the disk of the Sun behind it is shifted depending on where you are on Earth and how different the shift is depends on the distance from both Venus and the Sun to the Earth. The rare event to the transit of Venus occurred again quite recently on June 8, 2004. It was knowing that fundamental distance from the Earth to the Sun that helped us behind the true scale of the entire solar system for the first time. Image to write, our Sun, the nearest star, is 93 million miles away. That is why the Sun, which is a million times the size of the Earth, looks so small. It would take the space shuttle 7 months to fly there. When we leave the solar system, we found our stars and its planets are just one small part of the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way is the huge city of stars, so big that even at the speed of light, it would take 1 lakh years to travel across all the stars in the night sky including our sun are just some of the residents of this galaxy along with millions of other stars to fan to be seen. The further away a star is the fainter it looks. Astronomers use this as a clue to fire out the distance to stars that are very far away. But how do you know if the star really is far away? or just not very bright to begin with. This problem was solved in 1908 when Harrietta Lovett discovered the way to tell the wattage of the certain stars that changed their pulse rate linked to their wattage. Beyond our own galaxy lies a vast expanse of galaxies. The deeper we see into space, the more galaxies we discover. There are billions of galaxies, the most distance of which are so far away, that the light arriving from them on Earth today set out from the galaxies billions of years ago. So we see them not as they are today, but as they looked long before there was any life on Earth. So, how big is the universe? No one knows if the universe is infinitely large or even if ours is the only universe that exists and other part of the universe very far away might be quite different from the universe closer to home. Future NASA missions will continue to search for clues to the ultimate size and scale of our cosmic home. Go on the full exploration of the size of our universe at how big is our universe. Beautiful images and straightforward methods and ideas take you from our solar system into the realm of the stars, the galaxies and finally into the vast panorama 
of the observable universe. You can also download and print a PDF version of this exploration. So that is all for today's video. If you want to see more videos then please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.